Let's make this satisfying looping animation blender. First press shift A, add a torus object, go to the modifiers tab, add a subdivision surface modifier, set the level to 2, then right click and set mode. Now press R, X, then 90 to rotate the torus on the X axis. Next add a cylinder, go to the edit mode, scale it down, move it upward like this and right click to set smooth. Still in edit mode, press Ctrl B to bevel the top edges, then select the top face, press I to insert and press E to extrude upward, shaping it like this. Now select both torus and cylinder, press Ctrl P and parent to object. After that select just the cylinder, move into edit mode, select the top face again, then press shift S and choose origin to selection. Back in object mode, press shift A, add a UV sphere and again add a subdivision modifier with lever set to 2, then right click and set smooth. Now let's animate. Open the graph editor, select the cylinder and press key to insert a rotation keyframe. In the graph editor, select the X rotation channel. If this sidebar isn't visible for you, press N to bring it up. Then under modifiers, add a built-in function modifier, set the amplitude to 0.65, this controls the height of rotation and set the face multiplier to 0.1 which controls the speed. Now hit play to see the first looping animation. Let's make it even cooler. Select both the torus and cylinder, press shift D to duplicate it and rotate them by 90 degrees. Select one of the cylinders, go to the graph editor and change the face offset to 1.5. Now when you hit play, look at that smooth, clean and satisfying looping animation. From here you can add your textures, lighting and finalize your scene. And that's it, your satisfying looping animation is ready to render. Follow Art of V for more.